Okay, moving on to the next riff here. Um, this is the intro for Voodoo Child, the Jimi Hendrix tune. And uh, uh, this is uh, another pentatonic riff um, in E minor now. It's an E minor pentatonic riff. So I typically play it in this area. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix used to do a lot of recordings where he tuned down his guitar a half step. And so I can't remember if that was the case for this one or not. But I'm just going to play it off of the, essentially the E minor pentatonic scale within the seventh fret. So um, we know our box one pentatonic scale, which if I played it off of the, starting on the E string on the seventh fret, we've got finger one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. So that's one way to play a pentatonic scale. There are actually um, other ways to play them. And there's a way to play it where you start on the A string, meaning that your, your root note, your key note, let's say, of your pentatonic scale starts on the A string, not the E string. So for Voodoo Child, that's kind of the concept. It's an E minor pentatonic scale. Now this position of the pentatonic scale is generally referred to as the fourth box, the fourth shape of a pentatonic scale, it's similar to the first shape, or the first box. So if I'm playing an E minor pentatonic scale uh, in that box four off of the seventh fret, I'm going to start on the E on the seventh fret of my A string, and the pattern is as follows, finger one then four, one then three, and then finger one then three. That's one octave. Similar to the box one on the E string, we just moved it down a string. If you want to play the blues scale, there it is right there. So it's the same shape, just moved down a string. That's pentatonic. Here's the blues scale. Okay, now if I want to go beyond that to the other strings with this scale, when I get to the second string, I'm going to use the 8th fret and the 10th fret, finger 2 and finger 4. This is where it's different. Finger 2 and finger 4. And then it returns back to finger 1 and finger 4 on the first string. So we have this pattern starting on, this is my E or my root note on the G string, ninth fret. So I have finger three, finger two, finger four, finger one, and finger four. Finger four, going backwards, finger one, finger four, finger two, and finger three. So that's where it changes. So it, it changes on the second string, it's finger two and finger four. Now if I want to use the E string, the first string I play finger one and four, fret seven and fret ten. So in any scale that you play, whatever you play on one E string, in this case the first E string, would be the same on your sixth string. They're both tuned to E, they're just different octave ranges. So I'm also going to use finger 1 and 4 from fret 7 to fret 10 on the low E string. So from the E all the way to the highest note within this area on the scale, within this position, all the way back down to the lowest note and back up. This is the full range of this scale in this position would be finger 1, finger 4, finger 1, finger 3, finger 1, 3, then finger 2, 
two, finger four, finger one, finger four, and backwards, finger four, finger one, finger four, finger two, finger three, finger one, finger three, finger one, finger four, one, four, one, four, and then one. That's the full range of that scale. So I started on the E on the seventh fret, went all the way through the scale. Lowest notes and back to the E. Because that's an important reference note for that scale. So going back to Voodoo Child, we're starting on the G string on the ninth fret. And that's the first sequence of notes. Right out of the pentatonic scale. Now we're going to shift over here. If you remember, we did this kind of shifting for um, a couple tunes. We did it for Heartbreaker and we did it for Funk 49. So same concept here. We can shift over onto the fifth fret of the D string. And now I'm playing the E with my third finger on the seventh fret. We're back up. Of playing finger one and four, which is important, need to know it. I'm shifting over. Both are important. Now, for Voodoo Child, it seems to work out if I shift over. Shifting, jumping right to that fifth fret of the D string. And that's a pull off. to the root. That's the second phrase of it. So with the drum track, just kind of breaking it up a little bit. Let's try a little bit slower. Let's kind of do it in pieces. First piece would be this. just kind of broken up into pieces and then to complete the phrase it just returns back to the first idea and just starts that short so we have that's it so if I repeat that
recall on the uh, the record, um, I think Jimmy plays a like a bending lick, kind of getting into the you know the chord aspect of the tune. So when you're playing out of this pentatonic scale, <laughs> off of that second string, that's typically where the bending gets done. So I think he plays something off of the second string, where he bends up, use all three fingers to push up. And you push that string up. Let it go back down. First finger, and then second finger. So I'm using first and third finger here because that's the stronger fingers, and when you're bending, that's generally what we want to do. So I've kind of deviated from the, the fingering two and four to accommodate the bend here. So that's the lick. Bend up, let it go down, first finger, second finger, ends it. Make sure you bend this note high enough. Essentially, you're trying to reach the note on the 12th fret. That's one way you can know if you're hitting the right pitch or not. So that's a, an extra thing you can add in to the riff. Um, I'm going to bring it up to regular speed, just play through it and add that bend.